Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra. Today I'm going to teach you how to paint the portrait of a shark. So this will be a black tip shark everyone. And yeah, it will be just, uh, this, it will not be so easy but I think this is also a basic uh, lesson, a uh, basic to advanced lesson. And yeah, I will teach you how to paint the shark today. And if you want to paint it, just follow what I'm doing. Always have fun. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials near the screen. You can see the five limit colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do the underpainting first because we already have the sketch, we have the outline. You can do the outline, everyone. And then, yeah, just follow the sketch. Actually, it's just very easy sketch like that. Uh, this is the basic thing. That is the how to do the sketching, and then we can we can now start the the other painting. Okay. Yeah. So I think we can have blue here, blue on the top. And then the shark will be gray, everyone. So so usually the shark will be a gray color. Like that. Okay. So I'll try to add to use this raw umber. Oh, okay. There. <laughs> I just don't like that everyone to catch a lot of tension. With white yeah you can you can blend it on the body the shark like that I just want to have the underpainting of this everyone it's very important so that it can dry and I can have later on sketch and then we can now start adding the background so the background will be Something like a light blue, something like that. Maybe a blue green. Yeah. A little bit of white. You can you can you can add a lighter blue green on top everyone. I just want to make it much more bluish. A little bit of yellow. And then I'm going to put some white. I just want to have a smooth uh, background, everyone. It's okay if you cover some parts of the shark. As long as you can still see the sketch, that's fine. Okay. Blue and the red. Yeah, I'm gonna make the bottom part dark. There. And a little bit of greenish also. Can add a little bit of green or yellow to make it greenish. And 
jenis ku waktu the blue green iya yeah. This is right, yeah. So we just have to make the black, uh, background solid. A bit of white. Some blue green, yeah. part should be darker yeah for now it will be fine like that but later on I'm gonna make the details uh, darker okay let's add some detail details on the sharks body okay so I'm gonna put the light first. Uh, yeah, light or maybe some dark first. I think it will be good if I'm gonna put the dark first. So I will be using a smaller flat brush. This one, everyone, or yeah, this one. I'm gonna use the medium size flat brush number eight. And I have here the blue, so I think I'm gonna need to put some more blue. I'm gonna need for a reddish purple, everyone. Blue and the red, so I'm gonna put more red. And then I have here some white. This part should be dark. I'm gonna mix for a bit darker. Then more red. I'm gonna need to put more red, everyone. This part should be darker. This part of the eyes. There. Yeah, I'm gonna use later on the smaller brush. And 
then I'm gonna use a bit not so much dark but lighter I'm gonna add a bit of white there you go Okay. There. And then let's start adding a bit lighter. I just add some white. And then maybe a bit of red. of lines here you have you need to have a pointed brush here everyone there Okay. Later on, we can make it a bit uh, lighter. Okay, so just slowly blending it, everyone. So I'm going to put a little bit of Okay, so I'm gonna do a little blending, everyone, and here also. But here we a little bit of blue green on the belly part. So this is just just the underpainting. Okay. So I'm gonna use this yellow with a bit of blue. Yeah, it will be somewhere like a blue green and then white. a bit of yellow so yeah make it a little bit blue green everyone light blue green the belly part the belly part of the fish or the shark
Damn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna mix so a bit of dark. Just blue with brown. I can put a little bit of red to make it darker. Yeah. So always remember that the uh, belly part color should be blue green, something like that. Okay. And then also here. Okay, there you go. There, so I'm going to try now to retouch on the bottom, uh, on the upper part. Okay. So I have to blend a bit using this uh, blue and the red or reddish purple. Okay. And then some white. I am using now a smaller brush, everyone, which is the uh, number three and a flat brush. I am slowly blending up the edges. Also here. And then we can add a bit of light or a lighter reddish purple. Some white. I have to blend here. And then even here everyone, I have to blend also. There. And even here I have to blend. On the gills part. 
uh, gills uh, enable the shark to breathe the water. And then here we come brighter. There. But I have to blend that with the bluish color. a bit of light also here I can hear everyone what a bit of lights and then also here can add a bit of dark also especially here all you have to do is blend and blend now Just keep on bending. I have to keep on bending everyone to soften some parts that need to be softened. There. And I have to add more white. I have to lighten this part here. Just bring it good, everyone, like that. There. The next one will be in the upper part. Just be really good. Use the dry brush. Make sure that the brush is dry so that you can blend better. Also here on the belly part. There. Okay. I'm 
I'm going to add a bit of uh, yellowish or a little bit of blue green on the belly on this part here everyone because this part I see that it's a bit different Okay, and now I will try to add a bit of light also. On the, what do you call this? On the flipper. I'm not sure what you call this one. Okay, on the top everyone, I'm gonna use a raw umber. Raw umber and then a little bit of white. I see that this looks like a brownish color. You can spray it using your fingers. Add a bit of white. I saw uh, there's a light here. There. And then I think I'm gonna make a uh, lighter, everyone. Especially here, this part. So here. There. Okay. That's a good. That's good blending. I'm going to use smaller brush. But I'm gonna try to touch this part. I'm gonna. This is a black tip shark. I'm not using any black, but I'm using the dark purple, blue, and the red. I just try to add black here on the eyes. Yeah. And then also the gills part everyone, but it's not so dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of white.
is the girl of the shark that can make him breathe underwater yeah I think I'm gonna use a bit of umber with this color I'm gonna add a bit dark here where's in this umber try to make it much more sharper I'm gonna make the eyes much more sharper uh, even the nose part here we got. okay and then let's add a bit of lights so I'm gonna use some white make the light purple lighter so I'm gonna put a little light here in the gills I'm gonna use this light umber of lights A bit of dark also here. There. And then we can add a bit of lights. Just have to darken some parts, everyone. I'll be using blue and the red.
you can recognize this shark is a liver one because of the black tip of the of its papers okay also put here Okay. Bit kid. I'll be using again this to have a lighter color. I'm gonna put more red. Yeah, for this part here, everyone. We can see now the slides there. Okay. Now I'm gonna blend a little bit on the bottom using a smaller brush. This one, everyone. It's number three now of that brush. Yeah, I'm gonna put darker there. Maybe I can use the raw umber. I think raw umber is nearer to this color. of blue I think this is really good a bit of white blue umber and a bit of blend here just uh, slowly and I don't bit everyone blend it there not so much of lights okay yeah maybe dark blue and the raw umber And then here also. There. 
okay. Uh, a little bit of white to extend the color here to blend onto the top. Okay, and now let's line us on the bottom. Blue, uh, blue and a uh, romber. A little bit of white. More romber. Let's blend here. Then a little bit of white. Just a bit of scatter blending here. And then darks. There. Okay. And in the bottom, everyone, on the belly part, let's add more brightness. No, I think I'm gonna need the blue, yellow, and then more yellow, yeah, and then more blue, and then white. So, too much light. Just blend it good like that. There. And then I will try to have a bit of lights there, the belly part here, everyone. So I think uh, it should be a bit lighter. I'm gonna add yellow. Just make this part a bit lighter. There. Okay. Just blending slowly everyone and you can get it to the final better result. Okay, I think the bottom part should be a bit lighter. There. 
and then here also make it darker okay I'll make some other darker everyone And then here a bit of blending on the uh, part. There you go. Yeah. So, so far it looks like a shark now. Okay. So I have to retouch more everyone. I have to retouch and make it better. I mean here, it should be a bit lighter. I have to add a bit of raw umber. I know I mean uh, dark purple and then white. I'm gonna add a bit of white. And then I'm gonna brighten the top. Here. Okay. So put some details everyone like white spots here I saw some white spot there yeah that looks so good look like a shark now yeah it looks like a scary shark uh, I like the color one, looks so good. But I have to keep on retouching. Yeah, I have to put some some more uh, brownie stone, everyone. Still in the top part. So I have this umber and white. And then I'll just use this light color one. I'm gonna put on the on the 
snout white with the raw amber this part should be lighter A little bit of white here. There. Okay. I'm going to lighten most of the parts, everyone. I want it to. I want to make it shine. try a bit dark I'm just trying to retouch everyone now. Okay. I will put now this raw umber and uh, no, I mean blue and the red, <laughs> dark purple. I mean that one, that raw umber. here and I will be using this brush with Okay, I will just retouch the background everyone and I think I'll be finished. Yeah, I'll just try to uh, retouch the background and 
well, okay, I'm done everyone okay so you can also let it uh, just that way I'm gonna try to add a little bit of coral something like that I'll just try to finish all my paints here <laughs> on my canvas on my palette I mean the yellow yeah maybe something like that like a uh, reef but you can do whatever you want there you can add corals it's up to you now it will be good if you add like that Okay, there you go. I'm going to add more, but it should be very light on the, on the little bit far. It should be a bit of, uh, let's just say, greenish. Okay, there you go. More everyone, I can put more. Blue and red. Yeah, even here we can try to add. So I'm just 
try to touch the background and get their own I am done I'll try to add much more blue green Okay, put it here. like uh, he's on the cliff And then let's start to add some lights. They are just a uh, slanting light or yeah, something like that. I gonna lights everyone. Come from the top. So that it won't look boring that up part. There. Okay. So I think I am done everyone. I think I am very contented there at So I can still retouch this one. But for now, I am very happy uh, with the result. I think uh, this will be great. Uh, I am uh, finished on this part. Yeah. I think that will be great for me and I think for all of you also who wants to learn this one you can try to paint you can try to experiment you can try to also to if you want to paint this one you can also try to add other things there like like some fish corals you can make it very colorful actually I'm planning to do that I want to sell this painting and I want to put some more corals there it will be it will be uh, happy okay it will be fun to look on the entire painting okay so i hope you are learning you get something out of this and you can have your own painting uh shark painting okay everyone so i want to say thank you for watching this video today and i hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you have to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why i'm using limited colors in palette because i want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and god be sure all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the god